Hello guys, um, today I want to show you uh, the new project I'm working on. The last uh, one was the PVS 420, it was a monocular, uh, a thermal monocular. Um, there's just a, one video with an unfinished version, I actually never like released a video about the finished version. But yeah, we'll do that. Not a lot of things change, just internal stuff, but yeah, let's talk about that at a different time. Today I want to show you the PVS 840. So as it is almost double the size of the 420, I said to myself, well, we name it 840. Exactly. So the base model for the uh, 840 is the PVS 69 Foxtrot. Um, uh, digital night vision device. And I, I really liked it. And... It was a good uh, design to start from and then I started to adapt everything to make it work with two thermal cameras. So right now we have two 256 times 192 uh, with, uh, X, with 4 millimeter lenses. Uh, I already have like 6.8 millimeter lenses. Sadly they sent me the wrong flanges because lately Everything I order from AliExpress uh, that has to do with optics or displays, I get something wrong. I'm cursed. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, we have two. Uh, we have a V77 Pro uh, ocular display in here uh, with a 0 0.79 inch display each size and a 60 millimeter lenses. Uh, we have the usual uh, opto. Uh, uh, diopter wheel on this side sorry I was running out of black TPU so I had to use gray one so this will be of course be replaced with black one so of course um, because everyone was like uh, well, everyone wanted to put the PVS for 20 on a helmet and it was never really intended but of course it was a I used uh, the the housing of a PVS 14 and I also like included like the set screw and everything and so people thought yeah it's gonna go on on a helmet mount right I never intended to really because like the display on the PVS 420 is very small and you have to be very close to the to the lens uh, to get a proper picture which which could cause a problem when you mount it to a helmet and you run around and there's movement so yeah the 840 is actually meant for helm uh, to be mounted on the helmet. There's a dovetail mount right here in this configuration. Yeah, the thing is, um, it is heavy. That's why you have like counterweights in your helmet on the back. And this thing in the middle and what's mounted to the dovetail right now, this is like the the battery pack. So you can like take this completely off. There's like a rubber strap you take it off, you can pull the front cap off, pull the battery out, swap the battery, you have a connector here, you loosen that screw, and you simply like pull this whole thing off. So the whole middle part you see here, the black one, is just for handheld use, for mobile use. Normally with this gun you attach it to your uh, NVG mount, and you connect the power connector here with a cable running back to uh, to the back of your helmet where you connect it to this battery. Uh, I also, this, the, the, the base design is not my own, but I did quite some work to make it actually have a functional button and a uh, step-up converter and everything. And I added some stuff like a dummy switch and to connect it to the side. And it holds three batteries, the fourth chamber. This is going to be maybe a, its own video at some point. And it has a, a, had a bit of weight because of three 18650 cells. So it's a good counterweight for the, for the uh, thermal binocular. A funny thing actually is that I started building this without actually doing any research. And when I recently like looked up like the thermal binoculars... Uh, I could only find like it's it's it has uh, a stereoscopic eyepiece, 
but the old just had like really just one thermal camera and something else i think it was like a uh, rangefinder for measuring distance or whatever but no actual real stereoscopic thermal and i maybe understand why because i had quite the, the troubles like making this work as you can see funny enough you see the two tubes that holds the camera they at an angle right looks like i i dropped it and it like bent to the side but this is this is meant to be that way because when i had it parallel and you take a look to the viewfinder the picture would simply not align it wouldn't merge um and i was like what the hell what is going on is this is a lens thing or anything and of course me doing no research at all i had to find out about uh colly colly collimation collimation something like that which pretty much means like merging two pictures um so you you probably see like stereoscopic view your 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 brain has to merge the picture but therefore it has of course to align and that was not the case with a straight parallel cameras and i started to experiment and i realized okay when i like bent them outwards I like was like holding it like a like a popped out eye from its socket and was moving it around trying to align the picture with the other straight one and when i had it like on a really eight degrees angle six to eight degrees it actually worked so it was like okay interesting i guess i have to design uh, two lens holders with like four degrees each so not one is like eight and one is straight because it would look even even worse and it worked it perfectly worked the picture aligned and on this even i had like to lift the left lens one degree up so as you can see this is a this is pretty much a nightmare because if someone like i have an ipd like the the inter pop uh, the distance between like the eyes uh, every everyone is different i have like pretty much exact 60 millimeters like from eye to eye from, like the middle from the eye to the other side and it's it can be different with everyone you can have a different one and if you have a different one you probably won't have a nice time with this one because your brain won't be able to align the picture you receive with this so like everyone would have to like adjust the angle and print their own um, specific lens holders which kind of sucks um, I did upload uh, like a 3 degree and a 4 degree version but it, I, I don't know I honestly don't know it could it could work it could not work I'm no optic specialist I'm just learning as I'm walking pretty much but yeah at least um, that's the state of it so yeah we have like um, in here there's a battery and a step up booster and here's the power switch and on the back we have like three buttons uh, the first button we can cycle through the um, uh, color palettes and the scene modes and it's when you come to the end it starts from the beginning in the middle I added like zoom the different zoom states and the left is yet unused but you can like program the tiny 85 that's in here to any other function like the cameras do offer like I don't know sharpness contrast other things mirror flip the picture enhancements there's quite a lot of stuff you can select from but yeah i just added the third one because why not um on the front we have the main power switch everything is like uh, behind like tpu when i would take this off uh, this would be a lot slimmer of course and with a lot of weight gone so there's a front switch and I'll switch it on we can already hear uh, this is difficult yeah we can see nothing yeah it won't focus not really so when i press the button you can see that i can turn to uh, black hot and then we have different contrast settings and we also have the famous outline outline mode works really well it's the same on the right side now you're focusing the outline mode pretty cool and we can also like go through zoom states let me put my foot underneath so i have something to focus on there we go 
you can zoom, zoom closer, so close nobody needs to really with that low of a resolution. And we go all the way back. Um, yeah, then we go back to white hot and black hot. And now we have like contrast mode, low contrast, high contrast, and back to outline mode and back to white hot. And you can easily cycle that through with those buttons pretty much. Um, the focus ring does work. You can focus by turning it. I, uh, with the grab screws, I, they are holding the ring in and it's turning the front lens. As of now, I, I fixed the position because focus is perfect at this point, so I don't actually accidentally like uh, turn it. I tightened those up a little bit, so you cannot turn them. Um, I of course designed some TPU. Uh, lanyard held like covers so you can close it up and protect it and that's pretty much it yeah it's doing its snooking nicely and then you can turn it off again and same with the power bank I can actually show you um, there's the there's the strap and the strap you have to simply like put over let's difficult in front of the camera you lift it over this little flap here and same on this side and then you open up the connector pull it off and you can simply like take the battery out swap the battery you can put it back in but now I'm completely gonna take it out so for that, you simply like take the band here, pull it over, you open up the screw, it, not, it is not tight, very tight because it just re prevents it from sliding off the dovetail mount, come on, yeah, here we go, come on, and <sighs> Once that is off, you simply slide this whole thing off. It holds the battery, and now it's also much lighter out of a sudden. And now you can like simply like let me take the helmet. Um, is it on camera? This is so shitty. Here we go. And it's on. Here we go. Man, this is so stupid with the tripods. I'm sorry. There you go. All hell mounted. And then, of course, you would like simply put the battery on the back. You connect the cable, route it to the front of the helmet, connect it to power and you would be on your way doing some night missions I guess well that's it so far um, I already actually like working on like putting everything on print tables the part list is almost done <sighs> of course next comes documentation everything but again I have to say with the whole, whole collimation thing and, 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 and like the the distance, the I, the IPD, the distance between eyeballs and, and like the angle, this is uh, this is not a guarantee that this is going to work for everyone. So there is for sure some modification needed for everyone. So this will be unique for every person and it kind of works if others use it too. But when you look through it, probably the pictures won't align properly or they will have eye strain. But I, I don't really care. The most important is it works for you. So yeah, working on that. That's that's just an update on the matter. So thanks for watching. This was quite a long video. Anyways, have a good one. Bye bye.